we're, we're excited to get going uh, here in four days, uh, kind of um, trying to sharpen things up a little bit, trying to figure out, still trying to figure out what our lineup's going to be. And that's, uh, uh, you know, that's, uh, the, there's good problems and bad problems, you know, but we've got, uh, you know, because of our health, but because of uh, the number of players that have, that have come in here, uh, I, I think there's, there's a lot of players that, even though we're young, I don't see many players that are just settling in and just uh, being in the back. And, and uh, I see a lot of them that are pushing forward, that are, that are wanting to be out in the court, that are wanting to be in the rotation. And uh, we're still trying to figure that out. I think a lot of times with young, with young teams, with young players, you can kind of get into that, you know, free fall a little bit where one air leads to another, leads to another. And that just hasn't been the case with what I've seen. Uh, I've been really impressed with Kelly Bates uh, throughout the course of preseason. I mean, you know, she, you know, I think the first three years she's been on this, you know, at times she, the highs are high and the lows are low. And uh, every practice she's, she's been very, very stable and consistent and been a rock. And that's something we've needed out of her. Uh, I thought she had a really good scrimmage. Uh, I thought Emmy Dodge, I think everybody could see that defensively she's a lot stronger than what she was a year ago. You get that knee brace, and that's kind of freed her up to be, you know, def defend with a little bit more range. Uh, you know, our other freshmen outsides, Grace Loberg and Mariah Whalen, I thought both of those guys had some really nice moments. You know, Grace, high contact point, hitting with a lot of range. Uh, you know, Mariah, I thought, was really good out of system. I mean, she got up there on, on one ball, Early on, uh, high ball out of system that I think uh, Amber put up for her and just crushed it uh, four to four inside the ten foot line. I think right at right at Loberg, she she had uh, that was coming right at her face. I thought Loberg high contact. I thought she did a really good job. Danielle Hurd, I thought had a really nice scrimmage. Uh, probably some of the hits of the night kind of probably uh, belong to Danielle. So I think a lot of different. Uh, Sarah Dodd passed the two point six. Uh, I thought she was very, very good uh, in the back row for us. So I, I think it was spread out uh, amongst a lot of people. I've been impressed with, impressed with the freshman class, uh, and uh, we've not had to slow down a, a lot for them. There's certainly a lot more teaching that is going on in the gym, you know, with, what, with how practices are structured and, and the techniques and how we communicate. Um, you know, but when it's time to get into a drill, the freshmen a lot of times are leading the way, or the first ones in the in the gym in the in the morning uh, are younger players, and uh, that's been the case from day one. And I haven't seen that slow up. Matter of fact, I think uh, you know I got in here the afternoon yesterday, spent the morning with with my family, got in here about three o'clock, and yesterday was a day off, and Hilly's in there by herself and drenched in sweat already, and. Um, you know, just just setting a lot of balls, and apparently that was our second workout of the day on a day off. So, you know, it's uh, you know, I I like the future of this team, but what I really like is that the freshmen are they're ready to compete now, and uh, I know they're excited about Friday.